says that with loving kindness as he drawn us and the bible says god is love so i pray that this song will bless you and take you to another level of worship in jesus name excess love
Oh uh-huh. 
from the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley oh the blood that gives me strength hallelujah from day the will of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So that's all we got, but I just I just want to encourage if anybody said, you know what? I'm that person that was in that backslidden state and, and I want to come to Jesus. If that's you, I just want you to slip up your hands and we will come to you and we will pray with you. He said, you know what? They were talking about depression. They were talking about discouragement. That was me. I need, I need some encouragement in my life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But I'm just going to release a blanket prayer. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. And we just thank you, Father. I thank you for each and every soul who came out once a night to celebrate with me, Father. And I pray, Father, that encouragement was released over every heart, over every soul in the name of Jesus. I speak encouragement to the marriages tonight in the name of Jesus. I speak a life to the marriages, the marriages that are under fire. I speak encouragement and strength and unity in the name of Jesus. Those marriages that have yet to be developed, those who are engaged, Father, and those who are in marriage, strengthen the marriages in the name of Jesus. I release the blood covering over our children in the name of Jesus. I declare Psalm 91. I declare that wheresoever the soles of their feet shall tread, Lord God, that you grant unto them that land in the name of Jesus. I declare that our children will not be consumed. I say that they shall know the power in the blood of Jesus. God, that when they go, that they'll be safe in your arms. God, cover every single one tonight. Father, cover the mothers, Lord God, the widows. Hallelujah. Father, every person under the sound of my voice, I pray that their heart was encouraged. God, we love you and we honor you and we bless you. I pray, Father, Lord God, that I've decided will be an encouragement to your people, to the body of Christ. I pray, Lord God, that we will continually make a decision to honor you from day to day. In the name of Jesus, God, we love you and we bless you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray with that spirit, whatever you want to say. to make a few presentations so if you can go get those I would appreciate that and in the meantime I did want to allow a few people to give remarks um, yeah. <laughs> my brother Apostle James Luzana is in the house I want to ask that he would come and just greet my family my friends He's my brother from Delaware, came all the way here to be with me. I know his wife is in Atlanta. He is national, but he chose to come hang out with his sister. Come on up here, man of God. <laughs> I appreciate you for honoring me. sister um, and um, I was in the back I, I just want to say this really quick you know we are shifting and pivoting 
out of a season of a shut-in to a season of explosion and expansion. Hallelujah. Maybe you haven't went through anything in the last two years, but I know for myself, I was stuck in a place where I almost lost my mind. Somebody's not talking back to me, but when the government tells you you can't go to and fro, you can't come into the house of God, you can't commune with those that you're used to. You can't fellowship like you used to. I don't know who I'm talking to. But when you finally get to that place where you've got to sit still, I almost lost my mind. Hallelujah. But then a sound came out. And I want to tell you, tonight is powerful for a few reasons. As an apostolic leader, I understand that God is making a way in the wilderness. He's doing something new, and it's up to us as his body to perceive it. And what I saw tonight was a mixture of, oh, the blood of Jesus, all the way up to the modern day sound. And you may not catch it, but when there is a breakthrough, the first thing you hear is a sound. Let me, let me help you. Jehoshaphat was in uh, First Chronicles, the 20th chapter, Second Chronicles, 20th chapter. The Bible says before he goes to war, he sends worshiper. That means that the biggest weapon we have is actually inside of us. Now, I, I stood beside my sister in a season of a storm, and one thing that we were able to touch and agree with was not our carnal weapons, but a sound. Hallelujah. And so when she said, I decided to worship, it's a declaration, it's a proclamation of breakthrough. And so tonight I am honored to sit in the house to see God birth something different. Though the woman of God earlier said it may not be her and the way she comes that may save a soul. But the Bible says it's the wise that saves. The wisdom is in the sound. And so tonight I want to just proclaim, I want to declare, I want to decree this is a launching pad. Hallelujah, praise God. For those that have an ear, let them hear that it's not the way that we present ourselves in the physical, but it's the sound that we are able to release. And sometimes it takes a shut in, a lockdown. Sometimes it takes a stopping of your feet to release a new sound. And so we honor the woman of God for a cognizant decision. She decided to make a sound, a worship sound. And I declare and I decree that when the air gates are penetrated with that sound, hallelujah, praise God, there will be a sound in their mouth that will say, what must I do to be saved? And so, Father, we thank you for the gift of our sister. We thank you that even when life decided to happen, she did not stop her sound, but she decided to release her sound. And God, we declare and we decree that in this hour, we declare a new sound in our mouth, oh God, for you've been good. And your mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. Don't let the tattoos and the dreads fool you. I'm oiling. I've been through some things. And when I hear a sound of breakthrough, I can't help but say hallelujah. So I honor the woman of God. She pressed. Even when it didn't feel good, she still pressed. I honor her husband who stood beside her. Because the closest thing you're going to get to the example of God sometimes is a union. Hallelujah. And we thank God for the gift. This is the curse of many. And we celebrate what heaven is doing through you. In Jesus' name. from Delaware here. <laughs> so I just put my auntie and my cousin are in the back, but I did want to honor um, Bishop Humphrey and Pastor Serena who are actually in the back here cooking. I don't know where uncle is, but I did have a presentation for you. I told her I was doing this concert and I said, will you please cook some of that good, good, good baked ziti? And she said, absolutely. So I just wanted to honor her auntie. I do have a gift for you. If you can come get it, that would be great. <laughs> but um, I've been knowing them since I was about 10 years old. And um, God only knew that her nephew was my husband. So I was beefing with her, because I'm like, yo, why didn't you introduce me to him sooner? <laughs> but God 
new. I love you, Auntie. Thank you so much. She's an anointed woman of God. She can pray, preach, prophesy. She's a pastor, but she can also burn. So I pray that you enjoy the meal. And I thought Uncle was around, but uh, Bishop Humphrey, um, there's a gift in there for both of you. So amen. I did have something for Deacon Jennifer Bradley. If you would come. <laughs> so. I just wanted to acknowledge you as a faithful friend. The Bible says that a friend loveth at all times and is born for adversity. So I thank you for being honest with me when I want to hear it. And um, this was the friend. She was the one who was like, it might be God, sis. But just go do it. But she had an encouraging word every day. And I appreciate you for telling me the truth and loving me for always speaking life. Uh, whenever I'm giving you an idea, you like go for it. So I just wanted to love you and honor you. More, more so I see you as a sister, but I thank God for your faithful friendship. God bless you. So amen. I wanted to honor Pastor Dana. <laughs> So she is a gift. Y'all can see she's also funny. But she is anointed. And mom, I just want to let you know I appreciate you. Whenever I say hallelujah, I get that from her. So a lot of my style I got from her. I learned how to be a wife from her. When I was a young mom, she was mentoring me, encouraging me, and encouraging me not to lose myself, but to be hidden in Christ. I just wanted to acknowledge you and say thank you for, for hanging out and making my night so fun. Did you make it fun, y'all? Come on up here, my. <laughs> And so at this time, I do want to honor my very own Apostle Owen E. Ford and Apostle Julia. I know we're streaming and mom is at home. So mom, I understand you couldn't be here, but you are here. Um, I, I did share just a little bit about my experience in that trying time, um, but my decision to choose to worship was largely because of my relationship with my apostles, their consistent encouragement. Um, throughout the pandemic, um, I was still here. We, we, had, we were streaming, but I was still worshiping. And there were times that I would say, Dad, I don't want to. And he would say, no, Dory, you have to. You have to release your gift. How many of you thank God for, for leaders who will push you when you don't feel like it? So he was pulling that out of me, yes. So Dad, I want you to come and receive this gift. It's sentimental. Uh, Marty and I got this for you. If you guys could just open this up. This gift is, we had this especially made for Apostle O and Apostle J. Um, so their favorite colors. I want y'all to open this up if you can. Dad's favorite color is blue. And mom's is pink. <laughs> We're not going to say why it's blue. Because he should be for the Eagles. But dad loves the Dallas Cowboys. We're not even going to talk about that. But... Uh, <laughs> So we identified some of their favorite pictures. You see mom is fly, right? <laughs> but it says, Owen and Julia, the Fords, true love. And so I just, I just thank God for their anointing to be a covenant lead, a covenant leadership, husband and wife. Um, but they also encourage us to love our families practically. If we say we want to go on vacation, they say go enjoy yourself. Amen. But I thank you for the balance. I thank you for believing in us, believing in me, for continuing to speak the prophetic word, for correcting me in love and loving myself and Jamar through the process. Dad, you're the best. I appreciate you. And let me say, you know, usage, even, even being here, he didn't ask me for anything. Um, every artist who came tonight, nobody asked for anything. So anything that I give them is just a gift. Every artist, background vocalist, they didn't ask me for anything. They said, we want to come and help you. So I just thank God for surrounding me with integral people of God. Um, I do want to, just want to see those flowers quickly. I do want to um, present these flowers. So these flowers are for my daughter. These are for Genesis. And... Um, <laughs> I just want to thank God for my princess. <laughs> she didn't know. She thought these were for someone else. 
but she and I have been through a challenging season. And uh, she actually was prepared to sing back up for me. So I told her, Princess, you have tonight off. She was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> but she holds it down for me. She will sing back up. Uh, God is using you, daughter. When you sing, you have your own authentic anointing. Jen can sing, she can draw, she can act. And she is truly loving God. So just transparent moment, we were on our way because uh, we pray in the morning on her way to high school. And she was praying and she said, God, help me to stand up and support you when nobody else will. And I thought that was such a powerful prayer because it's challenging being young and saved. And you know, not going along, not cussing like the rest of them, not being like the world. But she was pretty much saying, I've decided to worship. That's what she was saying in her prayer. So I just want you to just continue to pray for, for this young princess. God is doing some great things in her. Uh, and she's actually going to be in a play December 4th with me. God is using her. Um, so princess, I love you. I just want to give you a flower so you can smell them. Gotcha. Since she thought they were for somebody else. <laughs> and please just give me that bad, bad Leonie. Love you. Love you. <laughs> so, uh, since happy birthday, buddy. Yeah. This is for my cake. So this is for um, Deacon Jamar and Yancey. If you will come, honey. So I always give him a little something, but um, if I can say that. <laughs> If I can say that the Lord really allowed for my ministry to take off when you came into my life, I believe that he wanted me to have the proper covering. And so because of your covering, God is opening up doors and um, I'm just honored to be your queen. I say I do every day and you know, I appreciate you for the big things, but it's every day. It's everyday sacrifices that you make for me and our family. Um, for my project, I'm working on this project. He's already like, yo, we gotta get the next one out. No, but you gotta, I'm like, honey. <laughs> so I just want you guys to honor him. Um, this is just a token of my love, but I appreciate you every day. I love you. So I'm gonna have my very own Apostle Owen E. Ford greet you guys. Uh, yeah, he's enjoying Trinity. This is his first grandbaby, y'all. This is Trinity. She's our church baby. <laughs> but um, I do want him to be able to greet you. Hey, how y'all doing? Because I wasn't going to see me again. One more time. All right, here's my little boy, my little prince. A little something for mom. My beautiful wife, she's such a giver. She's such a giver, so we wanted to bless her and we wanted to give her to you. Uh, we know how hard you work. We've seen you countless hours. The first project I remember you were singing while you were pregnant in the studio, um, going out, singing, um, going back and forth with uh, producers. I don't like that. Change that. <laughs> making sure everything is right. My wife is a perfectionist. She want to make sure that she's doing everything in excellence so that she produces quality. Amen? And I know how hard it is that you work. Um, so we just want to present something to you. Um, I'll go first. Um, I believe by faith that this uh, project is, is, is going to do well. And I don't, I don't want to wait for... Amen. It's going to do well. Huh? And I want to be the first one to celebrate my wife. Huh? I'm not going to wait for the RIAA to recognize the success of this product, of, of this project. So we want to bless you with your first gold plaque. Amen. Your first gold plaque. We want to acknowledge your accomplishment, and we know that this is the first of many. Amen. So we just want to present this to you. Already gold. Already gold. We looking forward to platinum now. Already gold, and we gonna celebrate her first. Amen. 
Hallelujah. We believe that by faith. Hey, mama. <laughs> so, give me a minute, y'all. Give me a minute. <laughs> when I drew this picture, <laughs> I thought that it wasn't going to turn out right. smell the flowers. <laughs> I know that we're so connected. <laughs> what I just drew this, what, what I just drew was my mom smelling the flowers. <laughs> Mama, baby, you want to get And I want you to smell my flowers just like you gave me your flowers. I wrote the word peace for you to always be at peace when you write songs or whenever you, you know, do anything. You are my role model and you are teaching me to let God use me through my gift. So I wanted to give you this moment to tell you that I love you and I'm so proud of you. talking about our apostle and they were talking about how he has spiritual children as well and so um, my prayer is that our legacy will be in sync with the vision that God has for this house and um, that you'll see that true love is being birthed in our lives right and so that the kingdom of God is just being manifested in our lives you see what I'm saying so um Come on up there. <laughs> At this time, let us receive a uh, receive apostle only for <laughs> Amen. Hey, Amen. Come on, put your hands together one more time for this great woman of God. Did y'all really enjoy tonight? No, no, did you enjoy tonight? Man, this was wonderful. This was a beautiful, beautiful event, a beautiful occasion in which we came to celebrate something very special and someone very special. You don't get to do, you don't get to do that often. You know, I said to one of the uh, young people that had graduated high school, and um, right before we prayed for them, I said, listen, I said, remember this day, because after this celebration of graduating high school, you won't have too many celebrations in your life. Not too many people are going to celebrate you. I'm not talking about your birthdays. I'm just talking about celebrating you. Not too many times in life will people celebrate you beyond certain occasions. And today we come to celebrate what God is doing in her life. And this is a great reason to come and celebrate her, what God is doing, because it's going to hit the world. I'm telling you, the Bible says in Isaiah 12 and 5, the Bible says, sing praises unto the Lord because he has done gloriously. And he says, and it shall be done amongst all the earth. I'm declaring in Jesus' name, which I already prophesied. I don't got to prophesy again, but I'm speaking it again. Now listen, this is already a number one hit. I declared in Jesus' name and spoke over her life that God would give her that. She went through some processes. Amen. Somebody say processes. And experiences. They all add up to what God's plan is for our lives. And so through the processes and through the experiences that she has gone through, it gives me great pleasure and honor to stand here with my spiritual daughter to say I'm proud of you. I thank God for what you release here in this house. I thank God for your obedience. I thank God for you being willing to be corrected. Amen. Listen, I'm an apostle. I'm about order. 
And so when things are not in the proper order and or in a way in which it's not uh, uh, conducive to what God wants to do in the ministry, amen, I set order. And so the woman of God and man of God have come to me and to my wife in this ministry and we have given them order for their lives. We've given them order for their for their gifts and for their talents all to be displayed for such a time as this. And all that is happening today is just a result of what God had planned from the time y'all entered into True Love Church. Amen. Somebody said that this was a platform. This is this is the platform in which the rocket is about to shoot off. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. This is the platform. This is the launch pad. And so it gives us great honor that you would want to do this here in this small little building. Glory to God. But nevertheless, it's not about the size, it's about the power that's in here. Amen. Amen. And so by tonight happening, this has been a powerful experience, a powerful encounter. And I thank God that you decided, amen, to be here at TLC. Amen. I'm not going to belabor the time. I did want TLC members, can y'all just like wave your hands at me or stand where you are? TLC, you're amazing. Um, all of the servers, the greeters, thank y'all for being here and celebrating me. I appreciate you. You're not waving your hand at TLC. <laughs> but every TLC member, can y'all just clap it up for my church? They're amazing. They're amazing. Just thank you. Just please give an honor to the musicians um, and the background vocalists, my friends <laughs> who going through stuff but still counted it not robbery to be here. Maxine, my girlfriend from high school. <laughs> Mimi's TLC. And since a good friend of mine, um, just appreciate y'all. Didn't ask me for nothing, y'all. Didn't ask me for nothing. Came out to multiple rehearsals. Didn't ask for nothing but rendered their gift. Um, good to see you, Tim, in the house. If all hearts and minds are clear, I'm going to ask that my king come and dismiss us. I love y'all, um, and just thank you so much for hanging out. Um, just want to pray blessing over you that you'll get home safely, and I just, I just really appreciate you being here on tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for all that's been said and done in this place tonight. We thank you, Father, for just allowing us to have worship, to praise you, Lord God, because you are worthy. Father God, we thank you that you got the glory tonight. Father, whether it was in song or in rapping or in dancing, any way possible, Lord God, we give you the glory and the honor, Father. We thank you for allowing us to have this time of worship. Thank you, Father God, for blessing my wife. Thank you, Lord God, for allowing all of the the men and women to come out and be a blessing unto her father. And we pray that this project will go forth into all the world, Lord God, and bless the men and women of God. Bless people in the land. Father, right now we need love more now than ever, Father God. We need to make a decision. Father, you said, choose ye this day whom you will serve. So, Father, I pray that this song will cause people to decide to worship you. Lord God, we love you. Father, we, we pray for traveling mercies and arriving grace. Father, we pray that we will get to our various destinations safely father we thank you again for everybody who's helped in any way lord god we pray that you would just bless them indeed father we can't pay them enough but we pray that your glory and your peace and your love will be a part of their lives and be their portion in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray amen <laughs>